Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing our second example for UML class diagram. We are dealing with the example online shopping systems class diagram. So, I mean, students, in the last lectures, we had discussed the UML class diagram, different relationship, and in the last lecture, we had discussed an example considering this UML class diagram. So, my dear students, a class diagram shows a set of classes, interfaces, and collaborations and their relationships. Most of the common diagram found in the modeling of object-oriented system is a class diagram and it represents the static design of a system and the class diagram includes the active classes addresses the static process view of a system. So my dear students, a class diagram can be represented or a class in a class diagram can be represented with the help of a rectangular representation and this rectangle has three different compartments. The topmost compartment represents the class name. The second or the middle compartment represents the different attributes and the last compartment represents the different methods associated with this class. The different relationships includes inheritance, association, aggregation, composition and the multiplicity factors include 0 to 1, 0 to many, 1 to many, a specific range of numbers. So my dear students, let us consider our example. We are considering the online shopping websites or online shopping portals class diagram. Firstly, we are considering a class called user. Here the class name is user. That's why we had mentioned the class name in the topmost compartment of the class diagram. So the topmost compartment represents the class name. Here the class name is user. And we can see four different attributes related with this class. The different attributes are user ID, password, login status and login details. And all these attributes are string data as well as all these attributes are private data members. That is the access specifiers are private access specifier which means that these attributes can be accessed only within this class or the class suddenly inheriting the properties from this class and we can see two different methods both these methods are public data methods that's why we had mentioned the plus sign before the method name so the minus sign before the attribute represents the private attribute and the plus sign represents the public access specifier so next we are considering a customer so the customer also has different attributes and methods here we can see the attributes like name address shipping information payment details and the different methods associated with this customer class is register of login of update details of here also the attributes are private attributes and the methods are public methods so we are considering or we are next we are dealing with the relationship here the customer is related to the user with the relationship inheritance that is the user is inherited towards the customer or the customer inherits the data of the user here the private data of the user that is the attributes like user id login login status password login details all these details are inherited by the customer and also the methods like login verification and login credentials are also inherited by the customer from the user class so here we can say that the user is the parent class and the customer is the child class so here we can see the parent class and child class next we are dealing with the administrator administrator also has attributes and method and there is a relationship between the user class the administrator also inherit the data from the user class that is administrator is also a child class of the parent class user so here the child classes customer and administrator inherits the data from this from its parent class user now we are dealing with the fourth class that is a shopping cart the shopping cart has the attributes like cart id product id quantity and methods like add cart update quantity delivery details and payment details and there is a relationship between the customer as well as the shopping cart the shopping cart is the composition of the customer or 
the customer composed of the shopping cart so here the relationship is composition now we can simplify or we can mention the multiplicity that is a customer has different shopping carts or may have different shopping carts or these shopping carts depend upon the different times of shopping that simply the multiplicity can be represented as one customer may have zero to many shopping carts that is one customer may have zero to many shopping carts can be represented with putting one beside the customer class as well as zero to many symbol beside the shopping cart and here is a composition relation so now we are dealing with another class order order class also has methods and attributes and this order class is also related to the customer class with the relationship composition order is also related with the customer car with the composition and the multiplicity here is one customer has zero to many order so now we are dealing with the next class shipping information shipping information is related with the class order and here also the relationship is composition shipping information is the composition of order class here also order class one order class has one shipping information next we are dealing with the order details order detail is a class with methods and attributes and this order detail class is related with the order class with the relationship composition and there is an association also here the order has a order detail this is the relation so the order has a order detail and also we can represent the multiplicity by one order has one order detail so these are the different classes associated with this shopping information website so now we are considering that if the customer class doesn't exist or the customer class is being deleted so if we are deleting the customer class this means that all the classes associated with the customer class should also become inexistent that is the customer class has the relationship composition with the shopping cart and the order class thus while deleting the customer class automatically the shopping cart as well as the order class also become unexisting so if the order class is being deleting this simply means that the shipping information class and the order detail class shouldn't exist without this order class so my dear students this is how we are representing a class diagram for the online shopping web portal so my dear students hope you have understood this topic so dear students kindly go through the assignment question our question is draw the uml class diagram for the railway ticket booking system so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the uml use case diagram so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best